see you in the centre. What's that? <laughs> see you in the centre. Oh. That's all about you, off you go. <laughs> um, Simone, what's it like to be back in a grand final, particularly in this circumstance where you're away from home, so you're going pretty far away for a grand final? Look, I think you can see from our reaction after the preliminary final how much it means for us to be playing in another grand final. And I'm actually excited and looking forward to getting on the road again because it's been a few weeks and we do like travelling, we do like being together. So it, it will be good for us to get on the road and to spend that time together as a team when we're over in Perth. And, yeah, can't wait for the game. How, how far away did you feel from that grand final when you're walking up the court after the... Uh after the qualifying game against, against the fever that they won? Oh, look, we were super disappointed. It was just really felt like it was an opportunity that we let slip, an opportunity that we'd worked hard to get to top spot and to host that final. And um, I really disappointed, but we had to shut the door on it, just close it, because we just really had to focus on Giants. We had to win that. That was do or die. That was it, whether we're playing in the grand final or not. So, and I think the team players did that really well. and. Here we are, prepping for a grand final, so really happy. Hey, you're a team that has, I suppose, been there, done that, so to speak, so how do you think that's going to help you going into the final or something? I think we do have experience as a group from having played in finals before. A couple of, both of you have played in a couple of grand finals, but, and there is generally across the board, there's, there's experience, and that does, um, that is important. We've also had a year where we've had to find our way to win games in difficult circumstances, as it was in the preliminary final, and I think that shows a lot of heart and team strength and connection. But also, you're playing against a team that is hungry for their first, their first ever um, premiership, and in front of their home crowd. So it's a super challenging task for us heading over there. But I think that you know, if we go there, making sure we've done the prep that we need to do. Um, we can be confident and have belief in ourselves, but know that it's going to be a tough, tough, tough game for us over there. Well, continuing on from that, what is your opinion of the Fever? The Fever of, they've been up there mixing it and played in a couple of grand finals over the last re most recent seasons, and that's because they're one of the best teams in the competition. They're one of the deadliest lethal teams in the competition as far as their scoring ability, and last time we played them defensively, they were all over us. So. They have strength across the court. I think they have a confidence this year that they can that they can really do it. And it's going to take our, our best. And certainly we're looking for four quarters. We want our, our best over there to meet them. Okay, is there is there a, a feeling like they've got everything in their favour going into this? Because they've got home court, they've got that hunger they have had one before, you girls have had to fight your way in. Does it feel like you're going against the wall a bit here? Well, I think they earned that right to have that home grand final in the end. As Simone said, we were disappointed with our performance. They played, credit to them, they played some really, really good netball and we're going to have to go back and really look at that and change some things up. But we feel that playing at our best and playing at our best for four quarters, um, we have the confidence that hopefully we can get over the line. You mentioned the turnovers. How can you get on top of that? How can you stop them getting in the lanes and, and rushing you like they did last time? Yeah, you know, we felt that we probably didn't execute well enough in that uh, major final. We threw balls away, we had turnovers that um, we'd prefer not to have. But also, I just don't think we had that intensity that you need to bring in a final. And we saw in that Giants game what we were able to do in, I think, the first and the fourth. If you can bring that intensity, you can bring the defensive pressure, we have to slow ball down um, to Janelle Fowler, the access that they have to her. But then in attack, we've got to execute. And I think that comes from bringing uh, that intensity right from the first whistle. And, and Liz, with the, with the way they have Janelle there just as such a reliable target, how can, how can you girls slow it down? How can you girls sort of keep her sort of not getting all the chances she had last time? Yeah, it is um, that full court defence and I know probably most teams talk about it when you play against Fever. It's not, let's leave it to the goalkeeper and see what they can do down there. We need to, if we can win ball back in our attacking and that's such a bonus. But, you know, getting our hands up, locking their vision, just doing anything that we can to stop that easy feed. And I think if we get on top early, their confidence will sort of drop and they won't just throw that ball in from anywhere on the court, which is what happens when they get their flow on. So um, it's just defence and it's not leaving it to our goalkeeper. You've spoken of the advantages that the Fever have in playing at home and obviously their talent. What talent, what, uh, 
what uh, advantages do you think the Vixens have uh, heading into this summer of your opposition? Yeah, I, I feel really confident and, and have a really strong belief in our game plan and, and what we can do out there on court. We've got a few family and friends who are able to fly over, which is awesome. Um, you know, compared to the 2020 final, we didn't have those people there, which would be great to have a bit of a crowd for us. But I think if we have that belief and confidence in our game plan, um, that's what's going to get us there and, and doing it together. And it's kind of exciting going over there, doing it together against them. I kind of like being that underdog um, in this situation. Oh, look, I think they experienced a pretty intense final last week, so I think they're very excited for it. Um, we do have to treat this week very similar to what we've done all year, um, but I know that everyone's so hungry for this for this game, for this win. We're prepping really well, but yeah, we've had that experience the last probably two finals and shown what can happen um, when you are performing well and when you're not performing well, so they've definitely had different scenarios faced. And we've got we've got some of our former play, past players and premiership players that are joining us for a lunch today and that you know to be able to draw from their experience as well I think that's invaluable to have that sort of support um, so that we're looking forward to that today as well. So what made you bring the what made you bring the past players in is that something you've done in the past? With we have we have we do have you know that connection with past players and we did at the start of the year they play the role in presenting new players with their dresses it is that connection they, they are the foundation of us as a club they're an important part of why we're here now and how we go about things and it's important just um, maintaining that connection but drawing from their experience you know you've got like Bianca Chatfield, Sherelle McMahon, you know Tegan Phillip that sort of experience they've been through everything and anything to be able to just be able to pick their brains to be able to talk and even just have their support um, we're really fortunate. And uh, Liz, 12 months ago when this team was out of finals could you really see yourself being back here at this time? Yeah, absolutely. I think everyone was extremely disappointed with last year's season. Um, everyone came in fully focused for pre-season. It was exciting. And as Vixens, you know, we want to be at the top. We want to be in finals. And, and that goes right back to when Bianca and Tegan and these players were playing. So we kind of let ourselves down and the club down. So definitely always had that belief. And, and that's what you need to get into a final. Um, Simone, with, with the... Sorry, what's my train of thought? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um, just on the grand final, even like before the major semi final, the whole controversy around the venue play on play on your mind mentally at all, especially after what happened in twenty twenty. You know what it was? It was we wouldn't have been talking about finals. Because we, you know, you do really just work on the basis of next game, next game. We had a focus that we wanted to be finishing top and that was just about winning each week and unfortunately that because it only related to two teams, it just brought that into us that we had to be talking about hosting or not hosting. And it's like, hang on a minute, we're just still <laughs> finishing our season. So that was frustrating because of the timing of it. But we had our, we, we didn't really dwell on it. We made a point of not, it's just not even relevant for us. What was relevant was our next game, that, that next, next day and, and finishing top. So I think it was frustrating the timing of it and that we were forced into a position that we had to be talking about grand finals and finals, which we wouldn't ever have been doing. Um, Simone, you've been around stats of Vixens grand finals and player, coach, etc. Is this the toughest task, you think, for a, a Vixens grand final over the years? I think it is. It, it is one of the toughest road trips in normal rounds, but to be doing it in a grand final, you know, but you know what, I think it's a really nice venue. I actually like going <laughs> over there and playing. Um, it's going to be packed and we've done it this year before midway we did it midweek game in the middle of three games in one week we did it in the middle of middle of the week traveled over there played and came home with the win so um, we're, we're comfortable that we can cope with all of that sort of thing it's about just executing and putting our best game out there on the day um, and enjoying the fact that it's a grand final it's going to be packed we'll have our supporters there and um, and just giving it everything we've got how many supporters do you reckon you'll have? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I know everybody saw it was like straight away after Saturday night, everyone was on the book and flights. <laughs> that was amazing and pretty costly as well at this time of year. But yeah.